in our last video we saw that while we are writing the lambda function we need some common libraries called as numpy and matplot library these are some scientific library which are required to do a data processing for example sagemaker returned us uh, the image numbers the data we need to convert it into the image and i need a numpy as a library which is an inbuilt library However, uh, in AWS Lambda function, if you want to share uh, some kind of uh, uh, code as a reusable binary with many Lambda function, then uh, we have a concept called as layer. So layer means you just create a binary layer and, uh, uh, and that layer is nothing but a particular, it is pointing to a particular S3 bucket or any kind of zip file that you have uploaded, which has some bunch of libraries. For example, in this case, I need a matplot library, right? Matplot library is required. So I can always, um, in the local machine, I can create the Python uh, library to install the matplot. And then I, I can up zip it, that library, and upload it into the S3 bucket. And finally, I can create a layer which will point to that S3 bucket. And then that layer will always point to that library called as matplot there. Right? And then I can write many AWS Lambda function which will be pointing to that layer and they can reuse those matplot library to write their code. So we will create the layer. We need two layers here. One is for numpy and one is for matplot library. For the matplot library, basically you will be downloading the zip file that I will provide. Okay, So it will be supported for Python 3.7. So if you notice, uh, I have uh, already created a GitHub and this is the URL. From here, you can download the uh, matplot library that we will uh, upload it as a layer. The AWS uh, natively supports uh, the NumPy and other SciPy uh, libraries. Natively, it, is, it has a support, so you do not need to kind of maintain and uh, upload and build and install all these kind of libraries. So NumPy is one of the native supported uh, library that is uh, present in the in the SciPy uh, layer. So if you, uh, I'll show you how to use that. So if you go to the uh, layer, then there, be, there are some AWS built-in layers and we will select one of the layer called as AWS Lambda Python 37 SciPy 1X. So this layer will help us to get uh, the NumPy out of it. AWS Lambda function has two important features that has to be uh, understood by you. Number one is like Lambda layer. So it is a way to centrally manage the code and data that is shared across multiple functions. For example, we are going to using uh, NumPy. Similarly, the second feature of AWS Lambda is Lambda Runtime API. It is a simple interface to use any programming language or a specific language version for development uh, of your own function, right? So these are the two important things that I wanted to share. So let's go ahead and create the Lambda function uh, layer for our code base. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the layers. So you can click on the layers here in the AWS function and click on add layer. And once you click on the add layer, you have options, right? So first let's add the SciPy library, which is built in. So I will select AWS layer and select the AWS Lambda Python 37 SciPy 1X, select the version and hit on add button. This will be adding our SciPy library, which includes NumPy. So since it is added a uh, NumPy library, let's go ahead and quickly test our um, function. And you can see now it is uh, uh, saying that matplot library is not found. So similarly, we will go ahead and create a new layer for that. And this time uh, matplot library is a custom library, which is not natively available. Therefore, we will have to upload our own binary. So I have already created the uh, zip file in the GitHub that we can always download that and um, add it as a custom layer. So if you go to the um, uh, custom layer there you can do that so let's go ahead into the layers and create our own layer first so we will give a name called as matplot library and then we will have to upload it so what i'll do is i will uh, uh, upload the zip file that i have downloaded from the github and then uh, i will just select the runtime as python 3.7 and then i'll upload it 
so once it is uploaded the new layer is created that uh, that i have created so i'll have to upload maintain this library every time right so once it is created uh, we can go ahead into our aws lambda function and there basically you go back again to the layers and similarly add the layer and this time we will select the custom layer and select the name of matplot library that we have recently created and select the version and hit on the add button so once we added these two layers now we can go ahead and test our lambda function and check whether it is running or not right so let's do this in our next video where we'll go ahead and test our lambda function